What's up everybody, War here. So today is September 1st and it is the start of the first of five days to be able to get the extra XP and gold in Diablo 4. Okay, we touched on this in an earlier video a couple days ago or probably last week. Uh, and it's now live. When you log into Diablo 4, you're going to get a message like this. Now you are blessed like us. So from September, uh, from now, so September 1st till September 5th, so five days, uh, at 10 a.m. PDT, all players will earn 25% increased EXP and 25% increased gold, both in Seasonal and the Eternal Realm across all tiers. These bonuses stack, so make sure to pair them with elixirs and urns of experience to maximize your gains. Okay, Lilith has briefly extended her favor in good faith, blah, 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 from the Diablo team. So this is actually really, really cool. We touched on this a little bit ago about how Blizzard is really trying to win back a lot of its player base. So this is a really strong way during Labor Day weekend and trying to get through... I don't know the player base and just try to bring people back maybe to help those who are a little behind on the season or maybe to help all of the players who are currently trying to get to level 100 we recently have level 100 on all five classes i'm super super happy about it two from season zero and then we have three from the very first season then we have our hardcore and then we have our um sorcerer at level 78 that we are just playing because of the new malignant hearts and all of the changes so uh we're probably actually going to start a druid just to see how fast the leveling experience really goes um with all the buffs so to just to kind of break down some math here uh we're going to log in i'm going to go over a few things i definitely encourage you guys if you're still playing diablo 4 to really capitalize on these exp gains and maybe gold gains if you really really need some gold um, so if you think about it, you're going to get, um, 25 EXP. Okay. 25%. Okay. Then if you pop an elixir, that's another 5%. Then, so that puts us at 30% total. Then if you come over here and craft an incent, okay. Which one is it that increases EXP? They said in the beginning, I know, but I'm really bad. All stats, max life, fire and shadow ancient times bless guide bless guides queen supreme sage and then armor just do do i not even have this i don't even got this this incense here man i don't even got the dang incense there's some incense that i don't know it's not here guys so you're going to be able to get 25 percent then you're going to be able to get five more percent from your elixir so that's going to take you to 30 percent all right now if you're fighting monsters 10 levels higher than you that's another 15 percent. so that's going to put us at a total of 45 percent exp all right that's a lot of exp now after which if you're playing in a party which i highly advise that you do at least one other person you're going to get the extra 10 percent from them okay because you're going to get five percent for being in a party and then if you're within a certain range it doubles so you get 10 percent okay so that's going to be 55 percent exp now don't forget if you have played enough in the season you have your seasonal blessings okay if you've spent some of your ashes in other areas i definitely advise you to pull them out and put them all into the urn of aggression to get more xp from monster kills so what this does is this is going to give you 53 percent exp 53 percent total exp right now as long as you're fighting monsters 10 levels higher than you as well as having at least one other person in the party now, let me know down in the comments. Maybe my math is wrong on that. Please let me know. Maybe I just added it wrong. You guys will let me know down in the comments below. But right now, if you want to get your last stretch to get to level 100, or if you really want to push out a brand new character and just kind of have some fun for the remainder of the season, we only have a month and two weeks before the season actually is over. And then we're jumping straight into season two. So I highly, highly advise you guys to take advantage of the exp boost that is going on right now from the first 
until the 5th of September. Okay. Now I want to talk about one other thing real quick before we kind of sign off here on the video. Uh, we all know the state of Diablo and we all kind of know what's going on. And this is just a real big way for Blizzard to try to win back a lot of his player base, seeing that it's incredibly low. Or maybe this is just a holiday event for Labor Day and just kind of boost the morale of the current player base. This by all means isn't going to bring anybody back, but I do think it's a nice little added incentive to kind of bring people back during this game. I'm going to have another video, guys, right after this one that is going to be talking about how PoE has literally consumed myself and like just taken over my priority over on Diablo 4. So check out that video after this one. But again, guys, definitely encourage you guys to go um, take advantage of the exp boost if you're still playing diablo 4 i still really enjoy diablo so uh i'm really really having a blast with this and i think i'm going to take full advantage of this boost and i'm really going to uh try to maybe just play a druid for the season and experience the the um malignant hearts for them and then maybe just finally boost that extra sorcerer that i have all the way to 100 we'll see we'll see how it goes we'll see how it is let me just double check this and increase gold both for the season uh and the urn of experience i don't know where the urn of experience is but maybe i just haven't unlocked it or something or maybe it's just one that you find but i have not found one that one at all i'm gonna double check the elixirs real quick guys because you know me i i'm a skimmer and i always mess things up when i'm reading so let, let's just uh let's just go go double check these urns real quick the urn of experience and maybe maybe the urn of experience is just something that um is added there's no urn of experience at all. I do not have one. So maybe it is something that we find, or maybe it's something that we can craft. These are all pots. Yeah, all pots. I don't see it. Heavy elixirs. Yeah, I don't see it. So maybe it's something that you guys find. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but the urn of experience is not here. Maybe it's a new recipe that, ha that will be added to the game. I'm not positive on that one. Or maybe it's one that happens after we finish completing all of this. We'll see. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, definitely take advantage of this. Like the video. Comment down below what do you guys think about the event and if you guys are going to partake. And as always, stay gaming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.